Assalamu alaikum our dear students. Welcome to a new lesson for our school, at our technical school. This is an English lesson for grade 10 using Technical English Book 1. The title of today's lesson is Review Unit C, Part 2. Before we start, let's have a look at the objectives. The first objective is describing some devices. The second objective is recognizing properties of materials. The third objective is using if first conditionals and sentences correctly. Please open the course book, pages 49 and 50. Now let's start looking at exercise 5, page 49. Identify the equipment from the description. We have six equipment, cable, fan, pump, radiator, solar panel, thermostat. Let's look at number one. It converts energy from the sun into heat or electricity. And of course, this is the solar panel. Number two, it pushes water around the water supply system or around the car engine. And this is the pump. Number three, it blows cold air into a car radiator and cools the water inside it. And of course, this is the fan. Very good. Number four, it controls the temperature of water or air in a heating or cooling system. Of course, this is the thermostat. Very good, so we have two extra answers here. Now let's move to number six. There's a problem with the forklift truck. Say what's going wrong. Let's look at number one. It is an example. I'm pressing the accelerator pedal, pedal but the truck isn't going. Okay, so we had uh, the word uh, press, the verb press between brackets, and we changed it into the present continuous. And we had uh, not go between brackets and we change it also into the present continuous. So what we need to do here is to change the verbs into the present continuous. Let's see to number two also as an example. He pull the lever back, but the forks not rise. The answer is he's pulling the lever back, but the forks aren't rising or are not rising. Okay, now pause the video for three minutes or five minutes. Try to answer question three to six and then come back to check the answers. Welcome back. Let's see number three. You, the answer is you are pushing down the brake pedal of the truck isn't slowing. Number four, I slide the lever, lever forward, so I am sliding the lever forward, but the forks are not tilting upwards. Number five, he is pulling the direction lever backwards, but the truck is not reversing or isn't reversing. Finally, number six, you, you're moving the direction lever forward, but the truck isn't going forwards. Very good. Now let's move to page 50, exercise seven. Complete the sentences with bend or break and other words. Polyester is a tough material. You can't break it. Okay, we understand this because uh, we used break because we have the word tough. Is it is tough? You can't break it. Concrete is a rigid material. It doesn't bend easily. Polycarbonate is a hard material. Hard. It doesn't break easily. Mm -hmm. 
this glass is brittle you can break it easily finally these plastic rollers are very flex flexible flexible they bend easily now let's move to exercise 8 on the left we have a group of words and we need to write the opposite of these words let's do the first one as ex an example rise what is the opposite of rise it's sink okay so please uh, take like four minutes try to answer the rest and come back later to check the answers okay now let's check the answers together enter what is the opposite of enter leave into out of heavy light strong weak go in go out inlet outlet push pull open close tough brittle hard soft to from flexible rigid go down go up thank you now exercise 9 complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb in the box we have the verb boil freeze melt rise sink and stretch okay we notice that all the sentences start with f and if you remember we can use the present simple in both parts of the sentence let's look at the first one as an example if you heat water to 100 degrees centigrade it boils okay don't forget that we added an s because we have it here so it is a singular word that's why we added an s to the verb now number two if you cool water to zero degrees centigrade it freezes the same we added an s here because it is singular number three if a heater warms the air in a room the air excellent rises if an air conditioner cools the air in a room the air very good sinks five if you heat steel bars to 1400 degrees centigrade they melt or melts they melt very good we don't add an s here because we have the word they which is plural finally if you pull a copper wire very hard it stretches excellent now look at let's look at exercise 10 identify the material from the description choose from the words in the box the words in the box are aluminum ceramic polycarbonate polystyrene rubber and steel we have six words but only four sentences number one sunglasses are made of this material it's a hard and tough plastic this material is polycarbonate number two you can stretch this material and you can bend it but it doesn't break this material is rubber three you can heat this material to a high temperature but it doesn't burn or melt they use it in spark plugs and of course this is ceramic finally parts of aeroplanes are made of this material it's a strong light corrosion resistant material of course this is aluminium after watching the video please don't go to uh, don't forget to go to the teams to answer the homework you will have 24 hours to finish the homework
we wish you all best of luck goodbye